Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're gonna be playing some Geb, and we're up against Era. Okay, in a way this is good because it's a god without a leap, which is good for Geb. Now, normally playing Geb, I'd go Bumpus Hammer with attack speed, and I think Geb could win this with a auto attack build against Hera, mostly because she doesn't have an escape. But I want to try Sphinx Bobble on Geb now. Sphinx Bobble got removed due to a bug, and now it is back. Oh, wait, do I want to go Bancroft? I think I do want to go Bancroft, just to start. Um, but Sphinx Bobble is back anyways. The bug got fixed. It was some bug with, like, if you bought it and then you died. Uh, or if you bought it then sold it, you would keep the cooldown cap until you died. But anyways, it's fixed. And I previously tried Sphinx Bobble on Kuzumbo, and it didn't go so well because of the the way it's decreasing damage, and also the fact that most of my build was consumed by cooldown items, and I didn't really have much of a build going for me. Plus, Bumba's Hammer has been nerfed this patch, so instead of doing what I normally do, which is Bumba's Hammer Geb, we're gonna go Sands of Time, which late game will give me a 20% cooldown. And then I can just go like Genji's Power Potion Blue Buff plus Sphinx Follow for the rest of my cooldown. Or something like that. It depends. Um, but what this is going to let me do is it, it lets me free up more of my build to counter build the Hera. Because I think that's what went wrong in the Kuzumbo game. It's just too much of my build was consumed. Not to mention Ku normal Kuzumbo is already insanely good. But the re also the main reason I'm, I want to try... Uh, Bumba's Kuzuba. Also, I don't know why I went this way because Red Buff. Or, excuse me, the reason I want to try uh, uh, Sphinx Bobble Geb. Oh my god, I'm getting my words all mixed up. Uh, Sphinx Bobble Geb is because I can spam the shield, and the shield is insanely powerful. Do I try to steal this? Or do I just get rid of it? Because Sphinx Bobble decreases your damage, but Sphinx Bobble does not decrease like shields. So it decreases heals and damage. That way you can get the max cooldown. But nothing else. Also, I might be able to kill here. If we're insane. I almost think if I didn't auto attack cancel, I would have killed there. Also, she's about to hit level 5. So I'm going to stay a little far back. But if I can get blink before she hits 5. Oh, she got level 5. Do I go for it anyways? Oh, the shell. I'm so dead. Don't drop Argus. Wait. Did you not love Lopargus? <laughs> right about the regular shield. But yeah, that's the hope, is that if I'm spamming all my abilities with the shield, since it doesn't get reduced and I'm just getting it constantly, I can just outbox no matter what. That's my hope. That's my goal. I think it'll go, it'll go well. Do I think that Sphinx Bobble is actually the ideal way to build? These characters, again, no. I don't think it's ideal, but it's what I'm going to do for fun. So I've already done the ideal builds tons on my channel, and, you know, they they work every now and then. Can I steal this from you? Probably not. Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh, you are kind of low, though. Where's your shield? You have my ult, but that won't be enough to kill. Let's just get uh, Argus out of here, basically. Can I not still kill you? Yeah, I can 100% kill you. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> Gebs 1 only knocks back once you get that CC Mindy. I thought I would hit her right before I got the CC Mindy. Can I go for this? I 100% go for this. Just kidding. Definitely, uh... The plan was to cancel my one so I could use my two, but... Obviously that didn't happen in time. She still has that red buff for a little bit. Nahara is a late game god. 
so it will come get a little bit scary as we get into late game, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. Who knows? Maybe she'll go Sphinx Bobble too. If she does, I mean, she has the same idea as Gab with the uh, constant CC plus constant shield. Probably It's probably way better on Hera than Gab. Ideally, I would get a Book of Thoth this game, but it's not necessary because of my starter item. I don't think I'll run out of mana late game too much, but I, I mean, ideally, Book of Thoth would be really nice. Yeah, I mean, that's her ultimate. Keep in mind that she still has her shield and all that good stuff. And go for that. Nope. That was pretty close, though. Pretty close. Again, a trick I always say on Geb is when you all don't use your two right away, try to get in those those auto attacks because the damage really does add up if you're playing a uh, damage Geb. Um, plus, I mean, not really the damage from the autos, but the CC. You're you're making them CC as long as possible if you wait for the stun from the ult run out before knocking them up. Because uh, if you knock them up right away, you're just wasting your ult. Kind of. It obviously depends on the situation. Oh no! Wait! Oh my god. <laughs> hey, I've messed up a ton this game, so I'm happy to see you're messing up too. Ah, uh, that's a beautiful thing of playing Smite casually. Is I can mess up all I want, and it doesn't matter. Alright. Let's get Genji's. I think Genji's is the fun build with Sphinx Bobble here. Also, if you guys aren't doing like Sphinx Bobble plus Spear of Deso in other games, like what, are you, what even are you doing? I would build Spear of Deso every game if it somehow benefited Duel, but it doesn't. <laughs> So she keeps like using her alt off the run. I can't help but feel like that's not good. Her alt will be super scary late game because I won't be able to kill it. Uh, with auto attack gab I would be able to, but you know. I'm also going to put a point in my shield because I think it's pretty good here. Oh look, look what just came up. If she comes around, I can actually kill. Oh, she knows. She knows. That's fine for me. As long as she's not getting her blue buff, I'm pretty happy. Plus, her ult's still down. I have my Link in five seconds. And I kill her. Ah, getting quite a bit of damage, but not enough. Not enough. Now, is she going to recall or is she going to fight for this? Looks like she's staying. Hey, I was waiting for that. Okay, I still can't kill her because of her shield. The Bancrofts? There we go. Power from Bancroft's allowed me to kill there. Nice. Yeah, I, I wasn't using my two because I was waiting for her, her shields. So it kind of worked out. Plus those minion is kind of annoying. I did miss out quite a few minions in the wave. My minions killed her minions, so... I don't think she's going to miss out on that many just because there's so many. But I think I missed, like, the full wave, actually. Uh, we'll stay. We have enough health and mana. I will say this early game, Geb, is way better than how I usually do early game. Because usually I skip the, uh... I skip the starter item for Bumbas. So, our early game is a lot stronger, which is awesome. No real reason to fight her here. Well, I mean, there's red buff. <laughs> I mean, is red buff not a real reason? Oh, she's tanky, though. She's very tanky. I did not mean to walk in that. 
All right, you can have red. Just let me clear the wave and I'll leave. She is smart. I think she would stay behind that wall just to pop out and kill me when I cleared that wave. I was a little worried about that. I thought with my ultimate, I'd be fine. All right, let's get Genji's. And now, oh, I don't want to start Sphinx Bubble yet. Uh, I guess we can go Book of Filth. I think I have enough room in my build for it. Uh, definitely want beads against Hera. The Polymorph, or whatever it's called, is one of the strongest CCs in the game. Um, I don't think it's affected by Diminishing Returns. Uh, they did change the way Diminishing Returns worked recently. So all that means is with most stuns, uh, if you get stunned over and over again, the duration gets shorter and shorter. But knockups and polymorphs do not get affected by that. So they'll, they'll be the same duration every time, which is why Harris 2 is very strong. Possible they change that. I'm not too certain. Again, a wasted ult by her. I don't really know why. Late game, that's going to be terrifying, though, because I'm not going to have a way to kill it other than... I mean, I'll be able to spam my abilities. Um, I might bait her by recalling here. Oh, I was way too close there. Just because I have my link ult. Always a race against the tide. Okay, cool. Now we'll we'll bait her if she stays. Now we're good. Okay, cool. Nice. Um, all right. And what do we want? I kind of need some pen. So what kind of pen do we want? Since Sphinx Bobble is gonna lower our damage. Normally I'd go like five ruin, but she has absolutely zero healing. Could also go Polly. I know I know viewers are a huge fan of Polly, but. I really don't think it's good in this build because of the way, uh, I don't know how to say it. Because Sphinx Bobble is going to lower my damage, it's going to lower Polly damage. And then without Pen, Polly's already not going to be hitting that hard. I don't know. Might just be a straight up Rod of Duty or something of the sort. Alright, there's her ult again. <laughs> I think she's just going for the infinite ult era. I might need I might need demonic. Demonic might be the play because then I can kill Argus easier. Because right now I can't kill Argus like at all, which is really annoying. The only cooldown she has is her starter plus Genji's, so I'm surprised she's getting Hera so much. Could be a uh, Hera passive, or getting Argus so much. My bad. Could be Hera passive because Hera passive gives one second of Argus for every auto attack she hits on me. Like, I really doubt that would be doing that much, right? I knew her cooldowns were down so she couldn't secure that. I do have my alt here, so if I keep damaging her, she could be put in the hurt locker a little bit. Nope, there's a shield. Ooh, maybe Sunder would have been good this match. Sunder would have been high. She looks low enough to kill, but it's just... I, I don't have it quite yet. Let's just try to poke her a little bit more. Get our CC immunity. There's Argus again. I cannot kill Argus. <laughs> I try to blink kill here. I feel like if I can get her shields, I definitely kill here. And her ultimates, I mean, it's already down. There's her shield as well. Or one shield at least. Ooh, nice beads. Genuinely nice beads. But is it enough for you? I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I keep knocking her back when I'm just trying to close distance, and I'm not sure in my head if it's better to hit the one or if it's better to just let her leave 
Or, I, uh, excuse me, to cancel it, use my two. If I cancel it, use my two, I would have gotten her there. Just making slight mistakes like that. That's alright, that's alright. Um, yeah, let's go demonic. I need to be able to kill Argus. This is a weird build. Very weird build. Uh, now I don't think I'm actually gonna finish Sphinx Bobble till after I get my starter item, because there's no reason to do that. That's all. I won't even be at the cap. Hell, I might not even finish it until I get a power potion. She's gonna ult me again. I already know. I can read the future. Or see the future. There it is. Alright, I'm out. This is a very aggressive place, though. Kind of like that. Oh my god, that's basically all my health on Argus from Argus. I feel like she would be doing way better if she didn't use it so early constantly. Very bad for me. I don't want to fight for red. I think with Bancrofts, I should be okay. Ooh, did not mean to get hit by that. Okay, that's her ability. I get red buff, nice. Oh, you got that again? Ooh, Argus, the three! <laughs> oh my goodness. I knew her shield was out. I was like, no matter what, I am swinging around. So unless you've got instant reaction times and instant abilities, which you have none of those up, you are dead. I mean, it's possible we could have traded, but I think as long as I hit my two, she was guaranteed dead no matter what. It's possible she threw her one at the floor, and then I guess we just trade, but... Or if she predicted before I blinked, then I guess she could have killed me without dying. That was actually crazy. Does that make up for the stupid first blood? I know the first blood is bad. I know I'm going to see so many comments complaining about how the first blood was stupid, but... You play greedy, you get hype plays. That's all that matters. Alright, let's get this. Let's get this. Let's get this. That's the wrong item. <laughs> oh, imagine if I walked out of base. Uh, I don't think I'll pop the power potion unless I'm in an emergency. I'm just going to hold on to it. It's just there's literally no reason to buy Sphinx Bobble if I don't have full cooldown already. It just It's just worse for me. So I'm at what? I'm at 40 now. I guess I would be at 50. What's nice is if I'm ever in an emergency, I can throw my two down and roll out instantly. And I don't think there's a way she can stop me if I do that. So as long as my two and one are up, I can pretty much leave any fight. How much gold do I need, dude? Thir Thirteen hundred gold. What even is Bobble? Is it like a ring? I don't know what that is. Oh, you took Demon King, you sneaky, sneaky arrow. Unfortunately, you're kind of low. And you're Argus right now. Look at that! Beautiful! I don't think I could have done that like that many ways differently and still killed her. Well, unless I went, like, without diving super, super far. Uh, because I had hold on to the ability for the shell and then also for her knockup and also I had to do the, those auto cancels the exact same way 
make sure I got the kill. Uh, I'm gonna get a tiny bit of Titan damage, but I'm just gonna leave. Because I want to get Bobble. Uh, once my one comes up, I'll leave. Alright. Let's go get Bobble. Beautifully. Plus, I can get the... what One thing I was also thinking about Bancrofts at the start of the game is I can get either Nimble, which, hey, attack speed, awesome for killing Argus, or I can get a... Uh, I can get the other one that's giving me she more shield, right? Oh. Okay, that's actually kind of bad for me. But my one's up again, so it doesn't matter. Plus, I have CC Unity because I'm OP. All right, let's get good old Bobble. Bobble, Bobble, Bobble. Your middle phoenix is under attack. Oh, she's in trouble here. What, what the hell happened there? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Man, I didn't even get to fight with Bobble. Do I not kill her? Do I not end the game just so I can fight with it? I kind of want to. But also, I could lose the game. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't care about tribute points. And I mean, we 100% we, we won that. Like, I can go kill Titan easy. So, but I'm going to let her respawn. We'll see what happens. I want to fight with Bobble. Because I really... I genuinely don't know if Bobble is just terrible in all dual situations or if it's sometimes good. Um, and here, I mean, it looks like it's sometimes good, right? Like, it seemed like I still had good damage. And having my abilities this fast is super hype. Um, I, I am maxed, right? No, I'm at 50%. I need a blue buff. I need to pick up blue buff. So let's, <laughs> let's defend this blue buff for a few more seconds. Okay. And then now when my red buff comes... And I can pick this up. All right, that's all I want. That's all I want, Hera. In 20 seconds, I will come back. I'm not back, Dorn. I just want this. All right, and just for fun, let's get uh, temporal beads plus this. Wait, wrong one. Uh, this one. All right, for a hundred seconds, I have sixty percent cooldown. Let's see what I can do. Oh. Uh oh. Ooh, she does lots of damage though. But that's also like her kit, like her entire kit. What the heck is happening? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Oh, she has so much damage with that build. It's actually so good. Her build is actually amazing. I won't lie. I should have just ended it. The bobble, my damage isn't there. It's fun, but it is not good. Okay, how long on her ultimate? Or... Please tell me your her ult's down for just a tiny bit longer. Like, literally 10 seconds. Oh, that's, that's it. Oh! Yes! Do I go kill those minions? I don't know. I, I don't know what I do here because her phoenix is up. I, if I, I don't want to lose my phoenix now. So I definitely, I, I take her phoenix. I don't think I take Titan because her phoenix came up though. So I can, st I can still fight. I can still do that. It's just her ultimate, man. But if I was playing Geb without Bobble, her ultimate would be a problem either way. Do I not take that without minions? Do I really have to wait for minions? Oh my god, I don't take that. I don't take that. I don't take Phoenix. 
I know it's one auto away, but if I tried to take that, I would have died. And now I lose Phoenix. Oh, no. But, but, her ultimate's down. Without her ultimate, Hera cannot do much. So, I mean, technically, I've already won the game, right? Without her ult, what can she do? Again, I'm just trying to kill Argus here. Ooh, kind of a waste of deeds, but it was just too scary there. Where East App is going ham right now. All right, let's heal. Heal, get power potion, I guess. I don't know. Probably defense pot would be better just because I'm not going to get as much from 3k pot. Like ring around Rosie with these fire minions, or not fire minions, just regular minions. Thank goodness she's missing everything. That Argus cooldown is so damn fast. Oh, nice, she hit that. Oh, she's just diving for it. No. Ah, uh, whatever. GG's. I'll take that. Are you spam laughing? I let you come back. I could have went and killed your Titan. Oh, well. Well, Hera, if you see this on YouTube, I mean, you can clearly see could have went and killed your Titan. Just doing it for the video. But I hope you guys enjoyed that game. Bobble seems super, super fun. But in some, I don't know, in some situations, it's just... It's just not it. Um, still, fun game overall. GG's. Uh, let's take a look at the match stats. I think the build was okay overall. And it was definitely fun on Geb. I wasn't getting my shield quite as much as I would have liked. Obviously, if you go Bumbas, you can get it even more. But then you got to fit in another 10% cooldown somewhere, which is just way too difficult. I guess if you're against a physical, right? Plus then the early game's more rough. So, uh, good games all around. Kind of funny that the Hera's laugh spamming, but that's how Smite Duel is right now. And I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Uh, have a good day.